welcome back to my channel it's your girl trish so i wanted to do like a little matte uh like a matte not too bold but somewhat of a bold look for you guys i kept the eyes pretty i want to say neutral because it's not neutral but it's still like a matte like easy look that you could do um and i wanted to go in with like a bold lip because it's my one of my favorite type of lips i just haven't done one in a while so I did that and I also went ahead and included some glitter because I have not used glitter in forever either. So yeah, um, if you guys want to see how I also customize this hair to my liking, it's a wig that I bought. I don't know if that video is going to be up before this video or after this video, but I'll make sure to leave it up in the cards. Um, yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoy and like this look because I really like the way this look came out. I don't know if it's me, but my face is looking a little bit orange, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's okay. Um, everything I use will be listed down in the comments, not in the comments, but down in the description box. Please do not leave here without subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Okay, y'all. So in today's look, I will be starting off with my brows. I typically don't show my brows, but I wanted to show you guys a little snippet on how I do my brows. What I did was I took the Becca Forever Matte Primer and I used that to kind of keep my brows in place while I'm doing them. And the what I like to use for my brows is the Kiss New York Top Brow Pencil. And I think I used it in the shade Dark Brown or Black is one of them, but I know it's one of the darker shades. But I like to lightly use like the, um, the pencil because I don't like my brows to look too, too, too harsh. So I always start with my tail first and then I, I, um, I go in the beginning, but I lightly do the beginning part. Now I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm going to just brush all that product together together and fill um fade in fade in the uh, beginning of my brows. And now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toes and I'm going to be covering up my brows. I typically like to start with like a, the tail first and then I'll go in the beginning part of my brows. Now I'll be using my foundation for the top part of my brows because I like my brows to have like a, like just a, natural look i don't like my brows to have like that halo look so i like to use my foundation on the top part of my brows Okay, so for the first eyeshadow, I will be going into the Saharan Soup Palette by Julius Place, and the shade is called Zora. It's like a dark red burgundy shade, and I am packing that all into my crease. Now going into the Warrior Palette, I'm going to be taking this orange shade and it's called Kano. It's like an orange neutral shade and I'm going to be using that to blend out that red. Going back into that same palette, I'm taking the dark brown shade in that palette called Mino and I'm going to be darkening up my face with that shade. Now that my crease is cut, um, the shade I'm going to be using for my lid is um, a shade out of the same palette called Ahasi. And I want to use, I'm just going to be packing it all over my eyelid.
Now, um, for my eyeliner, what I typically like to do is outline my eyeliner. And then I like to go in and fill it in. Um, and the eyeliner that I am using is the NYX Matte Eyeliner. I alternate between that one and the Wet n Wild Matte Eyeliner. Because those are my two um, favorite eyeliners that I like to use. They're just, they get really um, matte and they're really like black and pigmented. So, those are the two that I like to use. Okay, for my lashes, it's from this um, lash boutique off Instagram called More Lashes, and it's in the style uh, Drama Queen. And I went ahead and did my base off camera because you guys see me do this part so many times, so I decided not to put that um, in this video. And like the blush I'm using is from the Saharan Blush Volume Two uh, palette from Julia's Place, and I use this purple. This is like it's like a berry tone shade. That's what I use for my blush for this look now I'm just using that same lid color and I'm using that in my inner tear duct for the glitter part I'm using this chunky glitters from this boutique it's like this glitter um, line off Instagram that I found two almost two years ago um, it's like the, the her shades don't really have colors like names to them I mean it's just um, it's like a is a purple um, chunky glitter it has specks of other, other colors in it so what I like to do is I like to put my glitters down in portions so I'll put down the glue first and then I'll uh, go in and put the glitter on top and the glue that I like to use for my chunky glitter is the duo lash adhesive Now, because I could not decide, on, I don't, you know what, I'm too hot, too far ahead of myself, y'all. I am taking my Wet n Wild uh, setting spray, and I'm going to spray that on my face. And for my highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia highlighter in the shade Rivera. It's one of her older shades, but I'm one of my actually one of my favorite shades from her. And now for the lip portion, I could not decide on which one I wanted to use. So I outlined my lips with the Colored Pop, Color Pop Guest Lipstick. It's one of their older shades. And I filled it in with the Colored Rain, Rain Fever Lipstick. And a part of this lip clip got cut off, cut off. So that will be it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like the look. Please do not, forget, please do not leave without subscribing. I, don't know, I will see you guys in my next video.